In this video, we just part 15 of the coin market cap chart series. We're going to work on zooming in. So if I scroll down, you can see here now we're able to zoom in on our chart. And the same thing if I scroll up, you will see here now we're zooming out again. So let's start to look how we can do this right now. So let's start to look at how we can now zoom in and zoom out. And this is part 15 of the coin market cap video. So what we want to do is when we scroll or basically do a mouse wheel movement, we want to be able to zoom in or zoom out. So let's look at how we can do this because the moment we do this, you will notice that eventually the scale here changes and this interpolation will not function accordingly, of course, because we have everything connected with each other. So what we're going to do here, let's start to build the functionality first. So I'm going to do it very much at the bottom here. You scroll down all to the bottom and then in here I'm going to do very simple and I'm going to say here a function and this function is called zoom and this function of zoom should eventually be triggered when we trigger our mouse wheel so basically just do a little log here and just say here hello that's the first one so then what I want to do here is making sure that this function triggers only on the mouse wheel functionality or mouse wheel uh, movement so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to grab first of all the canvas i want to grab the canvas and say here my chart that's the canvas basically or more specifically uh, if you want to get the canvas basically it's this one here it's in my chart and then let's look at where is the item here in my chart and then we get here the ID and that's the canvas itself. So I'm going to say here because my chart is an odd chart object. So I'm going to say your canvas. So my chart dot canvas and then dot add event listener to trigger the event. So then once we do this, I'm going to say this will be activated on mouse wheel. So basically it will only work on the scrolling effect on our mouse wheel. Then I say comma, and then I'm going to say here, this is the event that we want to register. And then the moment we do this, what I want to do then is I want to trigger this functionality that we have built. And in this functionality, we'll have a few uh, arguments. The first one will be the my chart argument. And the second one will be the e event, which is basically the event of the mouse wheel. So now, if I save this, refresh here, open up developer tab, and if I would scroll now, as you can see, if I scroll, we trigger the hello functionality. So this works. So now what I want to do is basically to zoom in, zoom out on this. So luckily, zoom in, zoom out is quite easy to understand because it's based on the scale itself. We can control the minimum and maximum view of it. And basically, we're going to adjust here on May 11. That would be, for example, the minimum view. And what I would be here, this is... Um, uh, in 2022, uh, in November 25, as you can see here. So November 25 would be the last day here. So that's basically the scale. So let's start to adjust that. So I'm going to scroll up all the way to the top. And let's look for the uh, item here. We have here the X scale, and that's the one I want. I'm going to say enter. And then we're going to say the minimum value. And this minimum value by default should be uh, the dates itself. So if I scroll up, we have here, remember this item here, we have the dates. You can say dates index zero, and then the last one would be the max, would be the dates dot length, and then minus one. So I'm going to go back here. Uh, where are we? Sorry, it is slightly hard to find now. We have such a huge chunk of code. Um, the X, there we are. So I'm going to say your dates, index zero and that's very simple because basically that's the index what we have in our uh, dates array and then we have the maximum and the maximum will be the dates and we will say here dates will be based on dates dot length minus one so basically we're going to check in the array what's the length and then minus one save there we are nothing changes here of course why nothing changes you can see still it's still 20 or I guess I guess maybe we have one more additional. I'm not sure that I do that from the length. So I'm not sure if we have one additional, but that's all right. For now, everything here else is still fine. This all works. 
uh, let's see is it although I do know that sometimes it becomes slightly buggy here that the interpolation is somehow out of reach or it just jumps somewhere down anyway I'll leave it for now I will accept that uh, minor margin of error if you want to solve that it's in the interpolation I will not spend time anymore on that one for now so what I want to do now is scroll down here and then I'm going to say here in the console log for the zoom I'm going to say here chart which is basically reference to this and then here this will be the mouse wheel and what I want to do now is I want to update the zoom based on our scroll so what I'm going to do here two things first of all I'm going to say constant and I'm going to say we assign a minimum value and the minimum value is basically chart dot config dot options dot scales dot x dot min basically the current value we have set as min and then what I'm going to say here constant max value will be exactly the same but now for the max value so we say here, max all right so once we have this the next thing what I want to do is I want to work with the mouse wheel so if you look at the coin market uh, cap chart what happens is if we scroll down it zooms in if we scroll up it zooms out so I want to modify or emulate that exact same functionality so what we're going to do is we're going to get this mouse wheel here and I say console log mouse wheel save if I refresh you now open up developer tab scroll down you can see what is happening we get a lot of information here and if you look here very carefully you will find here the delta or the wheel delta y delta stands for difference so basically when we scroll down or when we scroll in vertical level we have this difference in scroll basically it would indicate here 240 pixels so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this value here and what I'm going to say here now is dot delta wheel and we know if we scroll down it will be a positive value as you can see here delta now the more we scroll the higher the value becomes but if I scroll up and I go down here now look at this you will see here now we get a delta and this delta is a negative value so let me save this again and just refresh you can see here if I scroll up it's a negative value if I scroll down it's positive and if I make a big scroll there we are we get a massive amount of values all right so this is for us very important so now I can easily start to use this and what I want to do now is create just a very simple if statement and this if statement will check are we scrolling up or down if we scroll down it's a positive value so I'm going to say if this would be uh, bigger than zero or bigger or equal to zero which is a positive value in that case what I want to do is I want to grab this and you might say why we're not grabbing this but why am I using this well if I use this I cannot use that it will it will just give the same value will be equal to same value so that doesn't work so what I need to do is I need to get in the chart object this specific item and then I will say here this is basically the following equal and then here comes the trick so we're going to grab here the array dates and then what we're going to say here is very simple we're going to say here dates make sure you spell it correctly dot index of and what we're going to do is basically we're going to search in the min what is the current index and then what I want to do because I want to from the minimum I want to increase I want to go plus one so what happens if I do plus one it will move one to the right so that's an in zoom there's like a zoom in function so I say here the min plus one so the moment I do this if I save this now and refresh I want to uh, scroll down as you can see if I scroll down it starts to change let me just close this so my console log slows it down there we are beautiful so this works nicely and if I do a lot of scrolling or I, I guess right now it's not very sensitive we have to eventually figure that one out but that's all right it's later on so we have this one here that's the first part the next thing what I want to do if I scroll up I want to zoom up so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to copy this and just make another if statement here and then we're going to say if this is uh, if that one is smaller than zero which is a negative value in that case I'm going to say a min minus we do it like that so we have the min minus so once we do this 
and if I save this, we should now be able to, let's refresh, let's zoom in, all right, then we're going to scroll out, and I guess it's still slightly heavy, but that's all right. As you can see here, we are now able to scroll out and in, beautiful. I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to pinpoint now the maximum value as well. Let's say here, max, index of max, but remember, max works exactly the opposite of minimum value and the reason why is because min will be increasing so then we push to the right side but here we need to decrease so we're going to push to the left side so I'm going to say here always minus one I'm going to do same here or we can just copy this and then we do plus one. Oh, sorry that was not what I wanted to do there we are and I'm going to say here plus one save that refresh all right so now if I scroll down you can see here both sides are now zooming in and if i scroll up and there we are i guess it is very heavy so i have to figure out later on how we can make it even better but this is zooming up all right so as you can see here what is happening once i zoom out too much i'm going outside of our range of data and then it gives us of course the error so what we need to do here is have a block or a stop that if we go too far in that case, stop going further than that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say here if, and I'm going to say here if this equals that, and I'm going to say here if the, uh, oh sorry, not that one, but I guess we can maybe do even this here, and let's see. All right, so I figured out, I was just looking at it, what is exactly the best step to do? So what we're going to do is we're going to say here the dates. We assign this. We're going to say here copy. Put that one in there. Say this if oh well, let's do this one here first. So basically, what I want to do is when we zoom in, there should be a absolute maximum of it. So we say here the minimum. Is that correct? Uh, we have here the minimum. If the minimum would be smaller or equal to zero and this is of course not what i want sorry let me double check here uh this is the one sorry so the reason why i want this i want to check what's the value here because if we're going down all the time if we go too much down we get this error so what i want to do is basically block off the error so i'm going to say here if the dates minimum would be smaller or equal to zero in that case what i want to do is i want to set our item to zero by default and uh, so that's for the minimum so I'm going to grab this copy this equal and I'm going to say here just go put it back into default state zero all right so then what I have another one is for the max I'm going to say here for the max now if index max would be bigger and then or equal to what exactly uh the, well basically this the dates dot length so that's the one we need to check on dates dot length minus one and then what i'm going to do here is this is again the dates index so what i want to do is i want to measure what's the length minus one if it's more or beyond the array values in that case i need to block it off because it's too far or it goes too, too far beyond, so I'm going to say for the max. I'm just going to say here if the value would be this, would be even more than that, then this will be equal to that. All right, so now we have this. So now if I save this, refresh. If I now zoom out, go back, go back, see now it is nicely blocked off. So it doesn't want to go back more. If I do this, there you are. So this is the first part of course if i zoom in we have a problem with the interpolation again i will solve one of it but i want to find to the exact pixel perfect to solve it so i know that something it has a bug and i probably have to make a new way of doing that but in the next video i will cover at least to solve the interpolation so it will be correctly because what we have now the width here calculated this structure with our interpolation is not correct anymore so that's one thing i will have to solve in the next video